Uh, top focus this hour, the Israeli government has voted to back a deal to release some hostages held by Hamas. This in exchange for a multi-day truce and the freeing of a greater number of Palestinian prisoners. Here's what we know about the hostages and the Palestinian prisoners who could be released. Gunmen from the Palestinian group Hamas took about 240 people hostage and killed about 1,200 pardon me, when they raided Israel on the 7th of October. Now, these hostages were from communities including collective farms, military bases in southern Israel, as well as people attending a music festival. Over half the hostages held foreign and dual national citizenship from some 40 countries, including the United States, Thailand, UK, France, Argentina, Germany, Chile, Spain and Portugal. And according to the Israeli media, the Israeli government, up to 40 hostages are being held, which are being held are children. Up to 40 of the hostages being held are children, including a 10-month-old baby and preschoolers. Also among those taken were soldiers, elderly people and people with disabilities, such as a 17-year-old girl who cannot walk or talk and uses a feeding tube. Hamas has to date released four captives, U.S. citizen Judith Ranan and her daughter Natalie Ranan were freed on the 20th of October, citing humanitarian reasons. Israeli women Nurit Cooper, aged 79, and Yoshevi Lifshis, aged 85, were then freed on the 23rd of October. Israeli forces freed one hostage, Ori Megadesh, a soldier in their ground invasion on Gaza on the 30th of October. The Israeli military said earlier this month that it recovered the bodies of two hostages in Gaza City, including 19-year-old soldier Noam Marciano, Islamic Jihad, which participated in the October 7th raid with Hamas, announced late on Tuesday the death of another Israeli hostage, but did not identify the individual. The Israeli Justice Ministry has published the list of 300 Palestinian prisoners who are candidates for release in the hostage deal. Now, as per a prisoner's rights group, New York Times stated about 200 boys, most of them teens, were in Israeli detention as of this week, along with about 75 women and 15 girls. There are also about 700 people missing from Gaza who are believed to be in Israeli prisons, but information on their whereabouts is not known. Now, the Israeli military has said that it has apprehended at least 300 people in Gaza during the ground invasion, that it claimed were connected to armed Palestinian groups, and that they were brought into Israeli territory for further interrogations as well. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.